Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari and uh, today I'm going to discuss about types of the methods in a class. In the previous session, we have talked about the class variable and uh, uh, we have seen that the class variable is common for every object. So basically in a class, there are two types of the variable. One is called instance variable and second one is called class variable. So uh, instance variable is associated with your uh, instances and class variable is associated with your class. And if you want to perform uh, any uh, operation on instance member, instance variable, then we create instance methods. And instance methods are uh, default methods or we can say the regular methods of the class. So uh, in a class, there are three types of the methods. One is called instance method. Second one is called class method and third one is called a static method. So let's see one by one what are these uh, methods. So uh, we have already learned that what is instance method. So instance methods by default uh, uh, takes first uh, argument as an object of that class and that we accept in a variable that is self. Okay. Uh, if you want to perform some operation on instance variable, then we go for instance methods. And if you want to perform some operation on any class variable, then we should go for the class methods. So class methods uh, is defined in the class by using a decorator that is called class method. Uh, so to define a method, so first of all, we use a decorator that is class method. Okay. And here define a method. Okay. So, uh, so let's define a class uh, methods um, with the name of update notice that will update your class uh, variable with some value. So here I will write update notice and as you can see the first argument is CLS. CLS is uh, the name of the class by which you will call this update process or and uh, by default it is your employee and here I will pass a new notice that will be updated into your class variable. So here we will write employee.notice is equal new notice and instead of employee we can write the CLS. So why CLS? Because a CLS is the class name. So syntactically and programmatically uh, if we say that CLS and the employee is same so it is not wrong. So CLS is actually the class name. So as in the previous session we were updating the value by using um, by calling the notice by class name. So instead of this, now I'm going to call this is class method by class name employee dot update notice. And here I will pass a new notice that is Sunday is holiday. So by writing this, we are performing the operation that will update the value of your class variable that is your notice. So let me comment out this and let me delete this one and execute the code. So as you can see, Sunday is holiday. So it is now updating into the class variable that is common for all objects and it is reflected into every object. So this is uh, the class method. Class method is basically used to work with the class variables uh, and uh, instance methods are used to work with your instance data members. So this is the difference between instance method and the class methods. Another scenario in which we use the class method as to create the objects of the classes. And in that case, that class method is called the factory method. The work of the factory method is uh, we do not call uh, this init method direct to initialize the data members of the objects as we are calling this one. So instead of this, we uh, call the class method to create the object. So let's uh, see one scenario. Uh, one scenario says that if you provide the name, salary and email to the constructor, then it should create an object of this class. And another scenario uh, can be that uh, a person says I will provide the name, salary and email in a string and uh, this is your duty that you will create the object of this class. So the case is the string will look like this. So string will look like employee str and every value is separated by a delimiter that is hyphen. So uh, now the requirement is we want to create an object by using this string. So what will we do? We uh, Can we create the object by using this string? Uh, till now uh, we don't have any logic to create the object uh, by using this uh, string. But we can see that uh, Daniel, the name is here 
after that hyphen then salary and after that hyphen and then email it means if we extract the values from here then we can create the object of the class so uh, to extract every value we can call the split method and we can uh, get the value of the name salary and email by calling employee.str.split so now um, every value will be split and here now i can pass the values like name then salary and then email so now it will create the object instead of uh, printing this i will emp1 dot show details emp2 dot show details so let's uh, execute this one and we can see that daniel4000 daniel at gmail.com and hassan5 50,000 and Hassan at gmail.com so we can create the object by using any string but we have to write this statement so now uh, every time if you get any string in this format then you have to write every time this logic so instead of doing this we can create another class method and by which we can create the object so here I am going to create a class method so first of all I use decorator at the rate class method and I am going to define a method and to create an object by using any kind of the data there is a method naming convention so i'm going to create an object by using a string so i will write from str okay and here i will pass employee str and all the code that i have written over here i will copy and paste as you can see so employee str this one and it will be splitted and after that i will call this one so instead of employee i can write cls okay and this will create an object and i will return this object from here and it will return the object so we can call from str by using the employee class name and here i will write from str and i will pass employee str so i will delete this and let's execute so as you can see it is also working so uh, this is the alternate uh, way to create the object instead of calling the constructor direct we can call by using the class methods okay another method is called uh, a static method so a static method is a method that is a simple method that we have already created in the python so if you have a situation in which uh, you want to put some logic that is related to your uh, class that is logically related to your class uh, but it will not work on uh, and it is not related to the instance variables and the class variable then we can define a method in the form of a static method so for that we use a decorator that is called a static method okay and if you define any static method for example i'm going to create a uh, a simple method that is called message so as you can see this will not accept any argument as self or cls so it is a regular method that is logically required but uh, it is uh, not for your uh, instance variable or class variable so just going to print something print and hello from employee okay and to call the static method we can use a instance uh, of the class means object or we can call by using direct class name so here i can write emp1 dot message or i can write employee dot message so let's see so both are working so this is your static method okay so uh, a quick recap about all the methods instance methods are those methods which are related to your instance variables which works on your instance members so uh, for that uh, we define an instance methods and this is uh, your uh, default or regular method in your class and that accepts self as first argument class methods are used to uh, work with class variables and its first argument always be a cls and we use a decorator that is called class method and class methods another use is uh, to create the objects or uh, alternative uh, we can say that it is alternative uh, of your constructor so we can write any logic like this and we can create the objects the static methods are the 
simple method that we have already created so if you want to put some logic that is for your class and it is not related to the instance data members or static data members then we should write a static decorator and we can create any methods static methods can be called by using uh, objects as well as the employee or by using class name so uh, that's all for uh, this tutorial still if you have doubt then you can put your queries into the comment box so please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you bye, -bye.